ball is bigger than the head. If you run, the shiver knows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanna watch this game. You are now I'm done. Hey guys! So um, we decided to do a little recap from our Euros tournament. Um, so we have some questions prepared and yeah, we just want to give a little insight on how the tournament was and what we think. So Laura, do you want to pick the first question? Of course. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. I picked this one. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, do you want to say something to the fans? Looking back, I just want to say thank you to all the fans, not just in the stadiums, but at home. Um, the support for women's football has been incredible. And yeah, you guys made it really, really special. And I think the biggest turn of event there has ever been. So thank you for everything. And I just wish that you will continue to support us because it's an amazing sport and we are on the rise. We also hope it's just the beginning and um, I hope we yeah, see each other soon at the next World Cup or Euros or wherever. Well, that was a lovely start. Tell us your standout player <laughs> without saying her name. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she won the Euros, mm -hmm. number four. I actually agree. Um, I would pick the same one, I think. Number four from England, um, Kira Walsh. She has been amazing and yeah. was my stand-up player as well. So and yeah. very well done. I got it really quick. Yes, yeah. you're very good. Smart. Job. I'm so smart. Would you do anything differently looking back at the tournament? Um, no, not really. Um, I enjoyed every moment. Um, I tried to soak everything in. Um, I think the last years were quite busy and um, yeah, it always feels like a rush and this time I thought that I need to yeah, pay more attention to, to everything and um, appreciate every moment a little bit more. Nice. Yeah. The only thing I would do differently is win against Winnie. Germany. Yeah, that yeah, would have been amazing. That hurts. That still hurts. <laughs> Most special moment of the tournament, on and off the pitch. Opening game. I've never experienced anything like it at Old Trafford in front of so many people. I actually mm. enjoyed it so much. It was, yeah, it was just crazy. And like I said, it was special. Off the pitch, yeah. Um, we had a bingo night um, two or three days before um, the Germany game. Um, it was really fun. Um, we had a, a nice party without alcohol, of course. But um, a yeah, it was a party, yeah, actually. it was a nice, it was a nice evening with the girls. Draw the toughest, hardest opponent you played against. Okay. It has to be you perfect. Have the details yeah, it has to be yeah. perfect. But I'll try to hurry up. She will definitely not be happy with my drawing. The ball is bigger than the head, but okay. <laughs> you done? <laughs> they look very similar. They do they're look the same, like the same person because they are the same player, actually, right? Yeah. Nice, Georgia. You look amazing. I think you look absolutely lovely. Can you, can you show it again close? Does she have a nose? No, she, she doesn't no need a nose. Okay, she doesn't need a nose. <laughs> she breathes through her mouth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got the same one actually. Interesting. Nice hair, by the way, Georgia. Why did you pick her? Why? The three of us. We had a had a, a big battle in the mm. first or in the opening game, and yeah, I kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, I agree. I think she's a really Skillful player, good player, um, big player with a big future, and yeah, Georgia. She loves you. Anything else? I prefer to play with you on the pitch <laughs> than against you, and now I'm done. Okay, next okay. one. Mm. Which country surprised you the most? Tell us without using any words. Okay. Um. Um. I'm, it's so hard to like show. I don't know. I'm just gonna say Germany. <laughs> you just gotta say. <laughs> okay. Because I think Germany, they surprised yeah. a lot of people. Um, yeah. Not a lot of people had them on the list, no. even though I expected them to do good because they yeah. have really good quality. Yeah, I knew that they that they have quality. Yeah, yeah, but the last tournaments weren't that good. So yeah, I was also surprised that oh how far they they will get. Yeah. That's it, right? That's it. I think that was the last question. That yes. concludes our European Championship. Yeah. And how, Sarah, another question. Um, how did 
did you feel after the Euros when you came back home? <laughs> you had to open because up you, that topic. <laughs> you sent me a message oh. and you weren't that happy, right? No, it wasn't that easy to be honest. I was a little, not depressed, but I was a little sad because, yeah, you were always with your best friends and with people the whole mm. time and you play those amazing games and then you sit at home by yourself on the couch and you watch the uh, like semi-finals and that's when I was like messaging Laura I'm like I'm a little depressed I want to play and I miss everyone so. I don't want to watch this game yeah I don't want to watch the others play <laughs> I'm all by myself yeah. <laughs> so it was a little tough yeah I got over it I'm back on track no back worries. on track yeah, yeah. but similar. how did you feel um yeah similar um I mean I was I wasn't alone at home so mm. that helped a little bit um, I was also able to watch the other games, um, but I couldn't enjoy it because mm. I just wanted to, yeah, be in England and, and play the games. And um, yeah, it was a bit hard, I have to admit. But well. I guess it's part of it, so um, yes. there can only be one champion. But we'll be back and we're back together anyways, which is good. Mm -hmm. And that's it, guys. Um, yeah game That's coming it, yeah. up for yeah. the World Cup qualifying. Euro focus done and we love you all. <laughs>